Okay, hello everyone. It is your boy, Tiny. Hello, hello, hello. I'm um, sorry about the noise. That was just my hot glue gun. Today on this episode, we are going to be talking about my lovely Eda bag that came in the mail today. I kind of used it already when I saw somebody today, so there's that. We're going to put all my lovely trinkets and things in here. I'm not too sure if all of them are going to be fitting on this little panel that I already pre-made last night and I just had to cut it today so it can all just kind of fit in there so yeah so we'll be doing that in a little bit of a different setup I'm on my floor right now so it's kind of easier to like place everything and stuff so yeah so we'll be getting into it so see you in a bit I eat a bag I wanted to show you guys all my little like knickknacks and like stuff I'm gonna be using or at least some of them I mean I still have to go get my pens my pins I mean sorry so I'll get that in a minute but I want to show you guys what I have in my little bag before I do my eat a bag and whatnot so yeah so I'm gonna dump all these out and I'm just gonna basically show you my eat a bag is just gonna be based on like a magic girl um magic girl and like things I like like so I have this cute little Dragon Ball Z Vegeta so I have him he's a little keychain um, my Sailor Moon little trinket that one of my besties got me. So there's that. And she also came with Tuxedo Mask. Which is also what my bestie got me that came with it. And my little Chibi Moon. Rini. With her lovely, um... Um, her little key that I have also on my arm, her time travel key, which is really cute. So, like, there's her. I also have Sailor Saturn and her, um, little, um, little wand thing. I also have Sailor Venus as well and her... Her star, um, her star wand, so I have that. I have Sailor Uranus as well with her little wand. And I have this cute little Sailor Pluto wand as well, which is like super cute. And I also have another... Sailor Venus little keychain, which is like super cute, so it's just gonna be dangly. I have a Domo keychain, little um, own keychain, and I have a Sailor Mars little keychain as well. And I have Sailor Mercury phone keychain. Oh, excuse me, as well. So those are those little keychains. Um, I also have these other little keychains that aren't attached to anything. So I'll be using my, like, safety pins for them. So I have Flareon. I also have um, Umbreon. It's really cute. I have um, Leafeon, I have Lucy, I also have another Sailor Mercury, I have another Sailor Mars, 
and another Sailor Venus. I have a Sailor Moon one as well, which is really cute. I also have a Sailor Uranus as well, and a Sailor Neptune as well, which is really cute. I also have Tuxedo Mask as well. Um, what else do I have? I have Eevee, which is really cute. I have Jolteon as well. I also have Vaporeon, my favorite. I also have Sailor Pluto. As well, I have Sailor Mini Moon, Chibi, Usa, Rini, whatever you want to category her as. Um, I have Glaceon as well, which is really cute. I also have Sylveon, which is super duper cute. I also have Espeon. I couldn't remember its name for like two minutes. Espeon. And I have Sailor Jupiter as well. And I also have Sailor Saturn as well. And I have my Shimi Gami that I also have on the back of my arm. Um, Riku. Thanks his name if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Like, whoops. And then I have all my pins. So, those are basically what I'm going to be putting on my, um, my Eda bag. So, yeah, let's get started. And, um, okay, so, my, all my safety pins and things and stuff. So, I'm just going to figure out on where to put everything so this is all my stuff um i'll show you what it is somewhere in the in the clips now i'm not too sure if i'm going to be using all of them or at least all of these little buttons and stuff so whatever buttons i don't use or not buttons but like pins i guess in a sense and those aren't the ones I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be really kind of strategic on this. Um, I don't really have a theme towards what I'm going to be using. These are like the parts I'm going to be using for the out of the bag. So I have Kiro right here. And I got this cute little like Spider-Man lanyard. So that's going to go last on my bag. So let's kind of figure out where everything goes. So I'm going to put this in my Eda bag so then I can kind of figure out like where all my pins and stuff are going to go. So we're just going to do it this way and obviously you guys won't be able to see it but like yeah. To where I'm going to fix it just to get like an idea of so this is how it's gonna look I really love houndstooth so whatever I can't really see up top here like up here that's okay because that's where all the pins are going to go so let's just kind of get her started and figure it all out so that's gonna go there um i'm pretty sure all of my dangly ones are just going to kind of chill up here so i'm gonna place all of my dangly ones in in a pile while i'm cracking my knuckles because that's just kind of what i do all my smaller ones are just going to chill in their own like little corners. So yeah. 
Um, most of my bigger pins are going to definitely go at the bottom. So, like, here, somewhere. I'm going to get a feel for it first to see which pins I actually want and don't want. And whatever ones I don't want, that's kind of okay. So this is kind of like, um, I guess almost like a tri -Z to figure out like where you want to establish everything just to get a, like a, I guess like a nice feel towards it. So like, yeah. Um, I don't really have like a theme. Like I said, it's mostly going to be like a magic girl kind of like theme, theme. So based off of like Sailor Moon, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, type of issue kind of thing. And if I don't like anything where I like to place it, like, oh, and my little Domo as well. So, which I don't think really Domo is like Magic Girl theme, but like, hey, it will do, it will do. So we're just going to take off this little part of that keychain because sadly that broke. So we're just going to clip that on and then we're just going to use that like that. <clears throat> so yeah, that's just kind of where it's at okay so i think i kind of have like a like a rough idea to where everything might go i think i might do like the buttons last not last but like kind of like whatever um i kind of got this idea by watching other people do it so i think that's like a really cool idea and if I have to move things for the top of my, um, actually, no, I might have to move that. See, I'm already having to move things. Ha, ha, ha. Just kidding. Um, so, yeah. I have a lot of pins, so it's not like I'm going to ever kind of run out of safety pins um, so I will show you what all my goodies and stuff like look like somewhere either you know like towards the end or something I'm not really too sure so yeah, and don't be, like, alarm if something, like, falls, because, like, if, if something falls, then it's not really going to, like, you're not going to lose it, because, like, yeah. <sighs> mm-hmm, so... Yep, my day is going well. I'm kind of doing this before work. And there is a Comic-Con that is coming up. So I like really want to kind of show off my lovely appreciation towards anime. And like, yeah, I didn't really... The inspiration of getting an Ida bag, which... um. In the Japanese term, it's, um, um, termed as, like, like, gross, but not, like, you gross. It's kind of, like, take your money, kind of, like, because you're going to spend all your money on, on stuff. And I might just kind of flap, like, these little bits right here over here, so then, so then, like more easier because like no one's gonna end up seeing the back anyways 
but since there's like this little part right here I might as well pin it in the back so it kind of looks like that for my sailor Uranus so it kind of makes sense just kind of place that like that and pin it in like this so I think y'all kind of like get the gist of the idea So, yeah, I will come back and show you guys what what it kind of looks like. So, I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, everyone. So, this is what I came out with. With all of my buttons and things. So, let's have like a little close-up. So... Yeah, I think it's pretty cute for a first time doing an eat a bag and I absolutely adore it. So yeah, let's see what this looks like in the bag. So Dokie, we're just going to fix one of my buttons for a quick minute because I wasn't able to see it in the bag. So we're just going to take a quick moment. Quick little detour. I think I fit one more pin. Okay, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like in inside the the purse or the bag or whatever you want to like category it as. I like to think that it's a purse, like a You can call it what it is, a bag, a purse. Fix everything. Well. Mm. 
in there. Hmm. It ain't gonna get any better than that. So, so guys, this is kind of what my Eta bag looks like. I think I did pretty darn, I'm pretty proud of myself, to be honest. And, yeah. So, oh, excuse me. So, if you like this little journey with me of my Eta bag, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll also show you my little trinkets that I'm going to put at the ending. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, before I end this video, which I kind of already did, but like PS to the video, <laughs> to my e-bag video, that I just put in Kiro and my um, Spider-Man lanyard key together. So, well, not key, but lanyard together. So, I just kind of did the little black thing that goes with it and then in case I just did this little little clippy thingy and then this is where it's gonna be so again guys I hope you enjoy this video if you have then like please like and then subscribe to me and see more videos and I might make like another um, cardboard um, um, background thingy for like another background in case I want to change it. So, yeah, guys, if you like this video, then please comment, like, and subscribe, please. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Tiny, and I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Bye.